Greetings everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're taking a fascinating journey into the world of agribusiness in Sub-Saharan Africa. The region is known for its rich agricultural heritage, with farming serving as the lifeblood of many economies here. But imagine if we could add a little more value to that lifeblood, infuse it with a bit more potency. That's exactly what we're discussing today, value-added agricultural products. Now you might be wondering, what does value addition mean? In the simplest terms, it involves transforming raw agricultural products into goods that hold a higher market value. This could mean turning tomatoes into tomato sauce or maize into packaged maize meal. By doing this, farmers can increase their income significantly, creating sustainable businesses that transcend generations. In this video, we'll explore how farmers in this region can unlock profitability through value addition. So, Buckle up and let's dive right in. Agriculture is the backbone of many economies in Sub-Saharan Africa, but merely growing and selling crops doesn't always guarantee financial success. Enter the concept of value addition, a game changer in the world of agribusiness. But what exactly is it? Well, value addition refers to the process of taking a raw agricultural product and transforming it into something more valuable. Think of it as an upgrade, like turning fresh tomatoes into gourmet tomato sauce, or crafting raw wool into exquisite hand-knitted scarves. Now, why is this important? Adding value to agricultural products opens up a whole new world of opportunities for farmers and agribusiness entrepreneurs. It's a ticket to higher profit margins, as value-added products often command a higher price in the market. Imagine selling a bottle of homemade strawberry jam instead of just the strawberries. The jam, a result of your added effort and creativity, fetches a higher price, thus increasing your income. But it's not just about the money. Value addition also plays a significant role in reducing post-harvest losses. For instance, perishable products like fruits can be processed into jams or juices, extending their shelf life and ensuring nothing goes to waste. Let's hear it from one of the local farmers. She says, Embracing the concept of value addition has truly transformed our farming business. We take our fresh produce and turn it into delicious jams and sauces. Not only does this allow us to fetch higher prices for our products, but it also reduces post-harvest losses. It's a win-win situation for us. That's the power of value addition. It's about innovation, creativity, and meeting the needs of consumers. It's about packaging, branding, and differentiating your products in the market. But more than anything, value addition is about adding worth to your agricultural products and in turn, boosting your income. So there you have it. Value addition involves processing raw agricultural products into marketable goods with added value. It's a simple concept with profound implications, a key ingredient to success in the agribusiness sector. By adding value to their products, farmers can tap into niche markets, command premium prices, and build stronger relationships with consumers. It's not just about growing the best tomatoes or cultivating the sweetest mangoes. It's about taking these fruits and transforming them into something more. It could be a jar of rich tomato sauce, a bottle of mango jam, or a set of handmade mango wood coasters. Each of these products, derived from the same agricultural base, has a different value and appeals to a unique set of consumers. Now, let's hear from an expert in the field, someone who has guided many farmers on this journey of value addition. According to him, the opportunities that arise from value addition are manifold. Beyond the immediate financial benefits, farmers can carve out their own space in the market, distinguishing their products from the run-of-the-mill offerings. This differentiation not only boosts sales, but also fosters customer loyalty as consumers come to associate certain unique products with specific farmers or brands. But the impact of value addition is not limited to individual farmers and their profit margins. The ripple effects can be felt across the entire rural community. When farmers start processing their own agricultural products, they often need to hire additional help. This creates local employment opportunities, helping to keep money within the community and stimulating economic growth. Furthermore, the development of these value-added products often requires new skills, like food processing or crafting. This can lead to the establishment of training programs and workshops, further enhancing the skill set of the rural population. 
As the community becomes more skilled, they become more self-sufficient and resilient, capable of weathering economic downturns and fluctuating market prices for raw agricultural products. In essence, value addition acts as a catalyst for rural development. It uplifts the farming community, not just by increasing their income, but by empowering them with new skills, creating jobs, and stimulating local economic growth. So it's not just about making more money, it's about creating a more sustainable, resilient, and prosperous community. Value addition also creates employment opportunities and stimulates economic growth within rural communities. Value addition has been a game changer for my business, says Makina, a successful agribusiness owner from Kenya. We began as a small-scale farming operation, growing just enough to feed our family and sell a bit at the local market. But we quickly realized that to truly thrive, we needed to do more than just grow crops. Makina's entrepreneurial spirit led her to explore the potential of value addition. She started experimenting with different ways to transform her farm's produce into unique, marketable products. We began by making simple things like homemade jam from our fruit harvest. Then we moved on to creating our own brand of hot sauce using our chili peppers. The response was overwhelming. Makena's products quickly gained popularity in her local community and beyond. People loved the fact that our products were fresh, locally sourced, and had a unique homemade touch. This encouraged us to expand our range further. McKenna's farm now produces a variety of value-added products, from fruit preserves and sauces to dried herbs and artisanal crafts. It's been a journey of continuous learning and innovation. We've had to master new skills, from food processing and packaging to marketing and customer service. The impact on her business has been transformative. We've been able to command higher prices for our products, diversify our income streams, and expand our market reach. Our farm is no longer just a source of subsistence. It's a thriving business that supports our family and contributes to our community. McKenna's advice to other farmers considering value addition? Start small, but think big. Experiment with different products and see what resonates with your customers. And don't be afraid to learn new skills. Value addition is not just about making your products more valuable. It's about making you, as a farmer and entrepreneur, more valuable too. As McKenna's story shows, value addition can be a powerful tool for farmers in Sub-Saharan Africa. It's not just about increasing income, but also about fostering innovation, enhancing resilience, and empowering rural communities. It's all about innovation and meeting the needs of consumers, McKenna concludes with a smile. And that's what makes it so exciting. And there you have it. We've journeyed through the exciting landscape of value-added agribusiness in Sub-Saharan Africa. We've seen how transforming raw agricultural products into more marketable goods, whether it's through processing, packaging, or branding, can unlock a new level of profitability for farmers. We've heard from those who've embraced value addition, diversifying their product range and tapping into niche markets, and witnessed the transformative impact it can have on not just individual farmers, but whole communities. Remember, the potential is vast, and the opportunities are ripe for the picking. It's all about innovation, meeting the needs of consumers, and above all, adding value every step of the way. We hope you found this video insightful. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to support our work, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more content on profitable agricultural practices. Click that bell icon to ensure you never miss an update from us. Until next time, happy farming.